this is uh, energy harvesting bar prepared by associate professor ahmed alam and me i am muhammad abul ala our outlines are uh, firstly a brief introduction about energy harvesting then we will highlight on some of our rectenna designs the first design is a dual band rectenna using for section matching technique uh, after that the design for low input power operation uh, then uh, rectenna for uh, data transmission is introduced using high gain triple band antenna for connecting and powering internet of things devices in a smart office uh, finally the conclusion this is a simple definition of energy harvesting energy harvesting can be defined as a process that collects the energy from the ambient environment and convert it into a usable electrical energy there are many forms of the ambient energy it could be light energy or magnetic vibration uh, or thermal energy or rf energy here we are focusing on rf in energy harvesting the reason behind our seeking to rf energy harvesting is that widespread use of many wireless systems such as tv broadcasting and uh, mobile radio wi-fi systems thus there is a large amount of energy that is was wasted so the demand for the harvesting and recycling the ambient electromagnetic energy increases also there are many advantages of energy harvesting such as uh, there is no need for battery replacement uh, also um, uh, conserve power consumption and generally it is a green energy these two figures reveal the progress in the market of the energy harvesting technology in last few years here in this figure uh, shows the progress in harvesting of the most common energy sources starting from uh, the light energy which uses solar cells or uh, solar panels and the brown one is for rf energy harvesting there are mainly three categories of wireless bar transmission the first one is near field inductive or resonant inductive coupling or capacitive coupling which is used for short range applications the second one is far field directive barring that is used for far field using an intentional source the third one is far field ambient wireless energy harvesting this is also far field harvesting but uh, from the ambient energy here we are focusing on, in this study we are focusing on far field energy harvesting Rectenna was uh, introduced as one of the most promising uh, techniques to harvest the wireless energy. Rectenna is a combination between the receiving antenna and the rectifier circuit. Uh, this is a general block diagram of the Rectenna system, starting from the receiving antenna which is used for collecting the ambient RF energy. After that, low bus filter or band bus filter uh, is used for suppressing the higher order harmonics that is generated from the rectifying nonlinear component uh, that used in the rectifying circuit. Then uh, the matching circuit is used for maximum power transfer between the antenna part and the rectifying circuit. The next stage is the non-linear element for the rectification. The final stage is the DC bus filter which is used for smoothing the DC output voltage and blocking the higher order modes. Uh, here is the uh, rectenna research trends, the contribution in the rectenna. 
uh, could be uh, in one of these parameters regarding the rectifier uh, side, uh, improving the sensitivity uh, and achieving uh, high uh, conversion efficiency, uh, also achieving wide band for the frequency and the input power, uh, also operating at low input power. Regard regarding the antenna side, uh, improving in the antenna gain and the efficiency, also making a miniaturization for the antenna size. Uh, RF uh, energy harvesting generally takes uh, this workflow, starting from designing uh, a receiving antenna using a suitable uh, NW simulators like HFCS or uh, CST. Uh, then the fabrication process and the testing and then the main parameters uh, such as S11 scattering parameter and the radiation characteristic. Uh, the same thing uh, with the rectifier uh, circuit. By choosing a proper circuit topology, it depends on the conditions of the operation. Uh, usually here it is and it is momentum used in the rectifier circuit designing. After that, the integration between the antenna and the rectifier circuit to generate a proper uh, rectenna design using uh, suitable matching uh, techniques. Uh, finally, the measurement of the rectenna parameters uh, like uh, RF DC conversion efficiency and the DC output voltage. This is uh, one of our designs dual band rectenna using voltage doubler, rectifier, and for uh, section matching network. Uh, generally, um, receiving antenna of the rectenna can take several uh, types such as uh, monopole, dipole, yag yuda or micro strip antenna or even parabolic antenna. To get uh, a high sensitive uh, rectenna from this formula, the antenna again should be increased uh, to maximize the RF uh, power input launched to the rectifying circuit. Uh, here is the P input, this is the received power by the antenna and here BD is uh, incident bar density and the uh, gain for the receiving antenna is GR. Here uh, in this design we used a uh, disk antenna. The antenna is uh, built on uh, two substrate with the same uh, material parameters. Uh, the circular uh, batch is connected directly with uh, feed line, a 50 ohm transmission line, uh, two radiates at 2.45 gigahertz. Uh, there is a ground plane between the feeding line and the circular batch. Uh, on the ground plane, there is a circular slot uh, to radiate by the capacitive coupling between the, the, this disk and the ground plane. Uh, to radiate at 1.95 gigahertz. And here is the uh, substrate parameters. To achieve good radiation characteristic, uh, a reflecting plane is inserted behind the antenna element. Uh, in, in this study, we, we placed the, re the reflecting element at uh, lambda by Eight distance. Uh, then a uh, defected reflector uh, structure is, in, is uh, inserted on the reflecting plane, as shown here in this geometry, to uh, get further enhancement in the gain as well as the front to back ratio. Uh, right here is the 2D radiation uh, characteristics. Uh, the measured and simulation. Uh, this is for the antenna without the reflecting plane. Uh, it uh, gives uh, 4.2 and 5.5 at the two resonance frequencies with low uh, front-to-back ratio 
uh, it is 3.4 and 5.6 dB at also the two uh, resonance frequencies. Uh, this case with uh, using only the reflecting uh, plane, here is the uh, 2D uh, radiation characteristics uh, measured and uh, simulation. Uh, also in this case, uh, the gain was uh, 7.45 and 7.9 dBi at the two modes of operations and the front back ratio uh, was uh, 6.3 and 18.2 at the same frequencies and this is the final uh, state which is using a DRS uh, structure in the reflecting plane uh, the gain becomes uh, 8.3 and 7.8 dBi with uh, uh, a good uh, results for the front to back ratio at the two operating frequencies. Uh, here is the antenna reflection coefficient for the three cases. This is for the antenna without reflecting plane and here with only reflecting plane and here with the DRS structure. Uh, we can notice here adding the DRS reflecting has uh, a little effect on the antenna scattering parameters. This is uh, a study of the antenna main parameters, the radius of the circular batch and the radius of the uh, slot that is mounted on the ground plane. Also, the separation distance between the antenna and the reflecting plane. An equivalent model of the antenna was proposed to model the electrical behavior of the antenna. The antenna is uh, presented by two RLC parallel resonators, resonator 1 and resonator 2. Uh, this uh, capacitor um, represents the coupling between the two resonators and uh, here is the feeding line. Uh, there is a good agreement between the simulated and the measured and the EDS model results as shown in this figure. In this design, a voltage doubler uh, circuit is used for uh, the rectification. This figure illustrates the voltage doubler topology as shown here. Uh, here CB uh, is a capacitor is used here for bypassing the higher order modes and the smoothing DC output voltage. And uh, these are the parameters of the short key diodes that are used in this design uh, and this section is a matching circuit it is uh, for section matching network that is used for maximum bar transfer between the antenna section and the rectifier circuit here is the topology for the for matching network uh, this technique can be summarized into three steps the first step is uh, to achieve a conjugate matching for the two values of the rectifier input impedance uh, impedance Z rectifier 1 and Z rectifier 2 at the two modes of operations um, as we can see here on the message chart the two values of the rectifier uh, input impedance can be represented by uh, this point. This is uh, Z uh, rectifier 1 and this point is this uh, Z rectifier 2. After achieving the conjugate matching, we can transfer these two points to this point and this point to be um, uh, on the same real circuit, this real circuit. And this can be achieved by adding section 1 here uh, and solving the equations at the conditions of the conjugate matching 
to get the electrical length and the width of this section. Uh, here Z1 and theta1. This is the electrical length and this is the electrical width of this uh, section. Then step two, uh, by canceling the imaginary parts uh, by adding this section to cancel the imaginary parts as shown here on the Smith chart these two points become at this point then L section used as, as a step 3 this L section used for real to real uh, impedance transformation and here is the equations that used for each section to define the width and length if someone needs uh, to know more about this technique here is our paper that is published in WBTC Wireless Bar Transfer Conference in 2018. This is the retina measurement setup. The receiving antenna and the rectifier circuit are integrated on the same substrate. Uh, to take the antenna radiation characteristics into account, the antenna effective area for the received antenna is considered. Uh, here is the RFDC conversion efficiency is calculated by B out over BN. Uh, here is the B out uh, equals to uh, the DC output voltage square by resistive load. Uh, and the B input is uh, is equal to the, re the received power density uh, product by the effective area of the received antenna and uh, this is the effective area uh, can be uh, defined by the uh, received antenna parameters here is the B input uh, equation uh, for the received power that, uh, that the power that launched to the rectenna and this is uh, received the power uh, in dBm uh, is defined by the transmitted power and is a gain of the transmitter and is a gain of the receiving antenna and this is the transmission or uh, channel losses and this is the cable losses this is the uh, results for the rectenna uh, here is the uh, conversion efficiency versus the input power at the first resonance frequency. Also, uh, in this axis, this is the DC output voltage. The same case for the second uh, resonance frequency is the conversion efficiency and the DC output voltage versus the B input, uh, the input power. Uh, the rectenna gives a maximum conversion efficiency of uh, 69 at input power of uh, 3.5 at a resistive load uh, of 1 kilo ohm. And here also the study of the uh, changing of the efficiency and the DC output voltage at different values for the resistive load. Uh, we study this with the uh, input bar at also the two states of uh, operations frequency F1 and F2. This is another design CBW dual band rectenna for low input power energy harvesting applications. Quad band CBW monopole antenna is used for this design. The antenna consists of a split ring resonator loaded by a spiral strip line as shown here in this figure. Uh, the integration gives quad band of operation as we will, dis uh, will uh, show that by the service current distribution at each mode of operation. Uh, here are the four bands. 0.7 gigahertz and 1.4 and 2.7 and 3.2 
as shown from the current distribution the first resonance frequency comes from the total length of the split ring resonator as well as the spiral line uh, while the second resonance uh, frequency uh, due to the strong coupling between the inner uh, spiral uh, line and the outer uh, split ring uh, the inner uh, spiral uh, line is responsible also for the third band whereas the outer section is responsible for the fourth frequency band simulation and the measured 2D copolarization and cross polarization for E plane and the H plane uh, at each mode of operation uh, are shown here. Uh, there is a good agreement between the simulated and the measured results. And this is the system that are used uh, for the uh, radiation pattern measurements. We started the rectifying uh, circuit by characterizing the used uh, diode. Uh, here we use SMS7630 uh, uh, diode. This is uh, assigned for uh, low, low power operation. Uh, by using uh, this uh, structure, this CBW structure, uh, ground the signal ground, and we measured the input impedance at 1 gigahertz uh, as shown from the smith chart we uh, built the matching circuit uh, at single uh, frequency by inserting uh, a series uh, lumped inductor and uh, parallel short circuit stop we implemented the previous circuit using a spiral inductor instead of lumped uh, inductor to reduce the losses uh, these uh, are the results of the S11 and the conversion efficiency as well as the DC output voltage. We got uh, a conversion efficiency of 71 and at uh, minus 4 dBm and a good uh, sensitivity uh, uh, reached uh, 40, uh, 45 at minus uh, 15 dBm. We used the previous uh, design to make uh, the dual band by adding additional stop. Here, this is the additional barrier stop. The parameters show the operation at the two frequency bands here. Uh, conversion efficiency versus uh, frequency it's shown here also a conversion efficiency in addition to the DC output voltage versus the input power are shown in these uh, two figures and this is a fabricated prototype for the proposed rectifier harmonic balance analysis is used to make a study at different values of the resistive resistive load. Uh, the maximum measured conversion efficiency is about uh, 74 and uh, 70 at the two modes of operations F1 and F2 with low input power levels of minus 6.5 and minus 4.5 dBm. Also, the rectenna offers uh, a high sensitivity reached 47 and 36 at an input power level of minus 20 dBm. And uh, this is the rectenna measurement setup for this design. This is the third rectenna design. Uh, here we introduce data transmission antenna using high gain uh, triple band antenna for connecting and powering internet of things devices in a smart office. Uh, making standalone antenna devices for only wireless power transmission purpose, 
doesn't consider the best practical solution. Thus, uh, various studies were introduced to, to study the feasibility of the merging between the powering and data transmission. As, uh, as we see here, uh, there are uh, two channels. One channel for uh, data transmission, uh, here is uh, blue one, and uh, there is another channel for power transmission. Here is uh, a dedicated uh, source for, uh, for powering. Also, it sends the power and the data simultaneously uh, through two uh, channels, as we mentioned. In this design, we use four layers, triple band antenna. Uh, this is uh, geometry for the proposed antenna. Uh, this this is a driving element which is consists of uh, the top layer and the bottom layer here and there is a reflecting plane and a directed uh, director structure as shown here uh, here is the design uh, steps for the antenna we started with a square splittering uh, resonator uh, as shown here and uh, by studying the modes of operation to choose the optimal dimensions of the splittering resonator to give the required frequency bands uh, we used a <coughs> We used a characteristic mode analysis that uh, provided by CST Microwave Studio Simulator. Uh, after uh, determining the operation uh, modes, uh, appropriate excitation is used to excite the, these modes. We use here uh, CBW um, feed, and the, as shown here in this figure to excite two modes of operation. Uh, this L uh, feed for exciting one mode and this is this uh, transmission line feed for another mode. The third uh, mode uh, comes from this slot on the ground plane, this slot we inserted on the ground plane. Uh, and this is a fabricated prototype for uh, the driving element for the triple band antenna. Characteristic mode analysis results here uh, reveal that two modes of uh, split ring resonator are simultaneously propagating at around 3.5 GHz and 5.5 GHz as cleared from the eigenvalues here, eigenvalues results here, also modal significance here. Eigenvalues uh, represent the ratio of the reactive power to the radiated power, so it gives zero at three point here in this location at uh, three point five and also there, there is another mode here uh, give uh, zero at 5.5 .5 gigahertz this means the imaginary parts are equal to zero at the two uh, operating modes uh, also uh, model significance uh, refer to the uh, influence of each mode in the total uh, electromagnetic response when an external source is applied uh, when the model uh, significance is greater than 1 by uh, square root for 2 for particular mode this means uh, this mode is significant mode on the contrary if the mode is if it is value is less than this value so this mode is non significant mode also uh, as shown in this figure characteristic angle referred to the phase lag between the current and electric field and it is equal uh, 180 uh, at the resonance frequency and this figure uh, shows the service current distribution at the two modes here for two mo uh, for mode one and here for mode two
the, this the results for the reflection coefficient. The antenna is designed to transmit and receive data at uh, 3.5 uh, and uh, this is for Y max band and 5.5 WLAN band while the lower band which is uh, 2.45 gigahertz is used for energy harvesting. Uh, this figure shows uh, um, the service current distribution at the three bands at 2.3 and 3.5 uh, and 5.7. Uh, we we can see here the, this is uh, this slot is radiated at the lower band, which is assigned for energy harvesting, and the two bands uh, one uh, one uh, generated from uh, the excitation of the the slot by the L L feed line, and the another one by feeding. Uh, the ground or uh, slot by the rectangular uh, feed, feed line here. The simulated and the measured results show that the proposed antenna covers these bands from 1.86 to uh, 2.65. This is the lower band, this is for energy harvesting. And the, there, there are two bands, uh, this one and this one, uh, were assigned for data transmission with these uh, impedance bandwidths at different uh, bands. Here is the radiation characteristic uh, results uh, to the measured and the simulated uh, at uh, two states for the first state in this section for the driving element only and here for the driving element plus the reflecting plane and the director structure uh, we can notice here that the directional properties uh, is enhanced for this uh, antenna by adding the reflecting plane and the director structure we used this structure, we, we made a study for the relative permeativity. At near zero permeativity, director structure helps in combining the focus and focusing the evanescent waves into the direction of the propagation of the antenna to get further enhancement in the antenna radiation characteristic. We used the two ports here, two fluid, uh, fluid ports board one and board two and study the relative permeativity it gives at three bands near zero permeativity uh, also we made a study of the uh, position for the director and the reflector as shown here uh, the study of the antenna gain versus the the space or the distance between the driving element and the reflector with different values of the uh, by of the, the the space between the driving element and the director uh, also this figure shows the uh, enhanced radiation characteristic the, here is the gain values uh, the antenna gives uh, gain a measure a high measure the gain of uh, 8.1 and uh, 8.9 and uh, 9 at the three different frequencies here is the rectifier circuit that used for uh, this design we used a voltage doubler using uh, a Vigo HSMS 2850 shortcut diode uh, this diode is selected to work at relatively low power due to it is a small threshold. This is a rectifier layout and this is a fabricated uh, prototype of the proposed rectifier. And here is the results for the rectifier. This is the S parameter. Uh, by adjusting the uh, series capacitor that is used with the uh, voltage uh, doubler circuit 
we can adjust the uh, the S parameter for the first band. Also, this is a study uh, of the conversion efficiency and DC output uh, voltage versus the input power. The rectifier uh, gives uh, simulated and measured results for the conversion efficiency of uh, 72.8 and the 70 percent. This is the simulated and the measured results at uh, an input power of 3 dBm. Uh, also, the rectifier uh, presents a DC output voltage of 2.4 at also 3 dBm. And here is the results for the rectenna. Uh, the antenna included the rectifier circuit. The rectenna presents a power conversion efficiency of 69.7%. Uh, and the DC output voltage of 1.9 voltage at input power of 2 dBm. Rectenna gives uh, a power conversion efficiency is over 50% uh, at a range of input power from minus uh, 6.5 dBm to 4.7 dBm. Uh, here is a conclusion. Uh, energy harvesting uh, research trend is uh, were uh, introduced. Uh, also, we discussed uh, three of our designs. The first design is dual band rectenna using voltage doubler uh, rectifier and the four section matching network. This uh, design uh, gave more than 50% over a wide range of input power from minus 4.5 to uh, 11 dBm with maximum conversion efficiency of uh, 69 at uh, input power of 3.5 dBm. The second design is a CBW dual band rectenna for low input power uh, energy harvesting applications. The rectenna has a high sensitivity reach up to uh, minus uh, 20 dBm with high conversion efficiency uh, of uh, 47 uh, percent. The third design is high gain triple band antenna for connecting and powering Internet of Things devices in a smart office. Uh, it works at three bands, one band for the bar transmission and the other two band for data transmission. And here are the references. Thank you.